Mental Fox here with more Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks for joining me again. We're here just west of the House of Healing. And we just had a little fight in the last episode. We're going to do a little bit of looting here. And then we're going to head on back to camp and heal up the party. All that fun stuff. So spend, speaking of camp, we're going to send that back to camp. We'll send that on back to camp. We'll pick up this gold. I mean, I guess we're going to pick up this putrefied tumor and we'll leave the rotten foodstuffs these poor shadow cursed people here it's not their fault I really didn't want to fight them but I don't think I had a choice I mean I tried I considered like just knocking them out instead of killing them but they showed up as undead and knocking out the undead did not seem to be an option so maybe somebody in the comments will tell me something I could have done but didn't. But what's done is done. A lot of, uh, I guess these are Harpers. Got a Shadow Mastiff, the dog over here. He's got nothing on him. Pilgrim. Nothing. Okay, it looks like we looted everyone. Is there anything nearby that we want to check out? We've got some uh, wooden crates here. Nothing in there. Some scary sound effects going on nearby. Don't know what's making that noise, but uh, I don't like the sound of it. Something good here. I hope. Why are you going around that way, dude? Seriously. Come all the way back around. Uh, take these shoes. All right. Well. Oh wait a minute. Wait wait wait. Wooden barrel, man. We gotta check this wooden barrel out before we head on back to camp. We don't want to miss that. That's important. This could just totally change everything about the game right here, and it didn't. But you never know. You never know. Alright, I'm going to uh, walk back here to this end. Just so that when we come back, I remember that this is where we were. There's a morgue down here. There's a path that goes up this way and walks around this area where, according to the map, there's a brewer's alchemical stash. I don't remember when we uh, were notified about that. I don't remember what led us there, but that's okay. All right, we are going to go on back to camp, do a full-on rest. I hear it. I don't know if you heard it, but I thought I heard Arabella talking to Withers over here. She was asking about him. I think she said something about, are you a skeleton? Or, oh, look, he's writing in his book. Look at that. Let's uh, let's stand here and eavesdrop for a moment and see if um, they don't have a little conversation. We can... Can I touch your face? No. You're no fun. No. Can I touch your face? <laughs> Boy, I really, really, really am not looking forward to giving Arabella the news about her her parents. Sad, sad, sad story. I mean, does that mean that we watch her now? That she's our responsibility? She just, like, hangs out in our camp now? I mean, how old do you think Arabella is? I have no idea. She's a tiefling. I can't tell by looking at her. Heck, if she, even if she was a human, I couldn't tell by looking at her. So, what were you before you were this? There is no before. So you've always been a bone man. In a sense. So you've always been a bone man. Yeah, really just wanting to soak up all the conversation between these two that I can before we tell her about her parents because who knows she could go run off after we tell her and then we wouldn't get to hear any more of this 
but I really like these interactions between the other characters. Oh, he's got his little book out again. Yeah, is she gonna say anything else or not? Let's see. Never met a skeleton before. Are you, you know, dead? I am not a skeleton. I am neither dead nor undead, neither alive nor unliving. I don't get it. Thou <laughs> wilt. <laughs> okay, I think that's the first thing we heard her say. Well, let's go ahead and give her the news. Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find Mum and Pops? Hmm. Well, we could lie to her and say, I haven't found your parents just yet. Or, as a bard, we could say, for once I find myself at a loss for words. They're gone, Arabella. I'm sorry. Well, we may as well just go ahead and tell her. No. No, no, no. I don't believe you. So she doesn't believe us. We could just say, I'm so sorry, Arabella. Good grief. We could say it was quite the sight. Their corpses were all but turned inside out. Or we could rely on our bardness and say, I wish this were simply another tale, but it's not. I'm telling you the truth. Well, let's go with our bardness. They'd never leave me. They promised. Get away from me. Hmm. Go. Okay, well, I guess we better get away from her then. She knows some spells, some scary spells. Withers, do you have anything you'd like to say? Fate spins along as it should. Not... Dost know. thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Um, no. Has anybody hired hirelings from him before? What's the deal with that? Well, do we dare talk to her again? Let's talk to her. Check in on her. Leave oh. me alone. Okay, maybe we leave her alone. Okay. Well, that's what we'll do then. We will leave her alone. We'll head on back over here to camp. Um, we will uh just see if Lazelle has anything to say. Greetings. She does not. Okay, if Lazelle has nothing to say, then um. Never. We could ask her about the disc for Moonrise Towers. Let's ask her about the disc for Moonrise Towers. Um, gosh, we've picked up so many discs. I mean, is this another disc about that heretic? Not really a heretic, but let's see. Uh, it, it, does it have the word engraved Githyanki disc? There's one here. Is this the one that we picked up from Moonrise Towers? What? Fox started a conversation. I want to read it. What the... What the heck's going on? Why can't I read this thing? Now I gotta search for it again. Um... It's weird. It says I started the conversation. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I don't. I don't remember. Anyway, let's ask her about it. Greetings. Let's ask her about the disc for Moonrise Towers. Once again, your mind opens to Lazel, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus, the so-called prince of the comet. Um, I mean, oh, jeez. Let's try to be thoughtful. I understand if you want to keep it to yourself. Good. Oh, jeez, okay. Let that be the end of it. I should have known better. <laughs> I should have known better. Well, that was fruitless. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. Oh, well. Uh, Starion, you have anything you want to say here? Need something? Nope. Mm. Gail. Go ahead. I'm listening. Nothing from him. Check in with Shadowheart. Well, my day just improved. 
Did you want something? Um, nope. Nothing new here. So I'm going to guess nothing new with Carlock either, but we'll check with her anyway. What is she doing? What's on your mind? Um, this feels like teasing her. And then, uh, Will over here. Well met. Nothing new there. Okay. And then, I don't know where Halson went, but he's not around. So let's go ahead and end our day. Seems simple enough. Get some sleep, rest up. And let's see here, I'm looking. So, do you think that um, Arabella will talk to us now? Probably not. We'll try now before we go to bed, and then we'll try again in the morning. Leave yeah. me alone! Okay, she does not want to be bothered. Alright, let's go over here and go to bed. Camp supplies, auto select. Good job. Let's get a full rest. Okay. That is that. And now I'm... Oh, I'm heavily encumbered. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that, you know, I had drink... I had drank that um, giant potion that made me stronger. Yeah. Wow. What the heck am I carrying that's making... I don't know. I'll have to take care of that here in a minute. Uh, but first, we're going to run up the hill here again and see if, you know, Arabella has time to think about things, to process things. Oh, crud. I'm going to walk very slowly. Okay. All right. Well... Let me take care of the inventory issue here, and then we'll go up there and talk to her. Okay, dumped off a bunch of stuff. Just dumped it at camp in our chest there. Let's go see if Arabella has anything she wants to say. I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No. no! Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead. I can't. Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours too. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. She must learn the ways of the arcane? You could say fine with me, she's already outstayed her welcome. Uh, we could say, why not? I'm not sending her out there alone, or where will she go then? I mean, where do you expect her to go, dude? The Weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly, if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. Hmm. We could say, I'm not going to make you go away. We could say, I'm sorry, I wish it could be different. Or I could say, 
You can trust Withers. If he says you'll be safe, you should believe him. Um, I mean, he seems to know what he's talking about, so I guess we're going to trust him. I... <laughs> You feel the grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. Okay. Well, we completed Find Arabella's Parents. We got a reward. Withers encouraged Arabella to learn the ways of the weave. She left to find her own way in the world. We received this little ring, shadow blade ring. One of the relics of deep Dwerna's rebellious children. Long ago, in a foreboding realm called Hammergrim, deep Dwerna. Is it Dwerna? I can't, I can't read that font. Daughter of the dower god Ladagur sired a great many heirs to her twisted Corundum throne. All right. A uh, shadow blade. Okay, what does that say? Weave a shadowy short sword in your hand that deals 2 to 16 psychic damage. When you use the sword to attack a target that is in dim light or darkness, you make the attack roll with advantage. The shadow blade can be unequipped and equipped again but must remain on the spellcaster's person okay interesting we shall accept it and can we talk to her again before she leaves if bowman says i'll be all right i'll be all right i just wish i wish it was different i wish mom and pops was here yeah, it hurts, I know it does, but you'll feel better in time. Or, you've been so strong, they'd be so proud of you. Or, well, they're not, so you can quit your sniveling. I mean, you've been very strong, I'm sure they'd be proud of you. I don't feel so strong. Or anything, really. Just tired. Oh, I hear you. Let me talk to her again. I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. Okay. She's gotten this far. Withers. Fate spins. Dost thou require a new ally? Okay. We will leave. And head on back down to camp. And um, we are going to uh, get everybody ready and go back to the area close to the house of healing. I'll do that. And I'll meet you over there. Okay, got the party all ready. Came back over here near the House of Healing. Uh, let's go ahead and... Well, I can't summon my familiar. I don't know why. What am I to do? But uh, Shadowheart can summon hers. Let's, uh, let's just go with the good old cat. And back to Fox. Who can now summon Scratch. I don't know what the rules are around that. Don't know why sometimes I can summon Scratch and sometimes I can't. Oh, oh, Scratch is sniffing. At the ready. Let's go follow Scratch real quick. What is it, Scratch? What is it? What is it, boy? It's pointing this way. What is it? Oh, a dirt mound. Very dark here. And we found oh, a chest and inside the chest. Uh some ingredients. Huh. An alchemical ingredient. Uh Thisabald's brewed up belly glummer. And here is a record of shipments. Let's check it out. T. Sending you the requested ingredients as per your letter, including the purple worm glands. I am eager to see the result of your experiments. Please send me some samples when it's completed. I have a few clients who would be very interested in the toxic fruits of your labors. Okay, there we go. 
that's what we found there. Uh, I'm going to get Shadowheart to go ahead and cast Light on uh, Fox, just because it lights things up. Yeah, it's kind of nice, right? Is that blood? And then we're going to walk back over here where we just were. I wonder if the gods are. Watching. And I'm going to have Gale cast Speak with the Dead. Quite ready for you. See if we can't uh, get any of these people to talk. Oh, scratch! Oh, hold on, hold on. Scratch just sniffed something else. Hold on. Hold everything. Gotta go up here and. See where Scratch is pointing us. Hmm. What's that? Well, it's another mound we could dig up. Get out of the way, Gale. We'll dig you up. Found another chest, and inside of this chest, uh, more ingredients. And some gold. It's pretty nice. Okay. Back down here again. Keep going. Come on, Gale. Okay, now we Gale. Oh, I have the magic touch. Cast. Speak with the dead. The corpse does not respond. So this was actually an idea somebody had in the comments. They said that whenever they head out to uh, begin their adventuring, they have Gale cast Speak with the Dead on the first dead body they see. And then any dead body that you can speak with will glow. At least I think that's what I read. So all of these people here, nobody's glowing. So that means we can't speak with any of them. There's a shadow over here. What is this now? Shadow Mastiff. Okay. Uh, so yeah. And these things have stayed interesting. So we should see bodies glow, the ones that we can talk to. There's a morgue down here. We could go in the, the morgue. I mean, I guess we might as well since we're right here. If we look at the map. There's no mention of a morgue. I don't remember reading about a morgue anywhere. Apparently we picked up those alchemical ingredients. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and brew up some stuff here. Extract all ingredients. Four new recipes unlocked. Oh. Okay. More recipes unlocked, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. We got Muddy Goo. That's new. Muddy Goo. Nothing but a watery sludge remains of what was once a Mephit's wing. Still, its elemental magic lingers. Doesn't tell me what it does, though. What does... I don't know what it does. Uh, ochre jelly here. Telling us... Uh, if Igwilv's... What? De Demonomicon has the right of it. All oozes are the spawn of the faceless lord, the demon tyrant Dweeblex. It also cites the useful motion-based alchemical properties of the substance, okay? Uh, we got snake venom, solution of night orchids, spider silk, all kinds of stuff. But like I said, I, I don't know. I mean, we could read about them, but what does it do? What does suspension of spider silk do? It's missing silk glands. I don't know. Vitriols. Oh, these are all new. Divine Miasma, Loth's Candle, Oleander, Purified Tumor, Shadowroot Sack, Weave Moss. All kinds of stuff. We've got some coatings here. Oil of Bane, Serpent Fang Toxin. All kinds of stuff in there. Fascinating. Another step forward. Well, I mean, let's go in the morgue. You, you see a morgue, you go in it, right? I mean, I don't know about you, but... If I'm out walking around in the woods and I see a morgue, I go in it. My hand I really don't. Look at this place. Such horrors oh my. defy description. Silence can be best. Give it a try sometime. 
Let's see if we light, light this place up a little bit. No. Doggone it. I hate it when the lights go back out. I was hoping that since we were down here, we'd be able to get the lights burning, but we can't. That's a bummer. This is gruesome. All these bodies here. My goodness. Oh, we got some big old doors here. Hey, check this skeleton out. Just in there with his head in his hands. Uh, here's a charred corpse. Nothing on the charred corpse. Anything on the skeleton? Just a bone. I guess I was kind of hoping since he was sitting that way, maybe he would have had a journal or something on him. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. What do we got over here? Anything good? I guess these are like... I can't really tell what I'm looking at. Maybe this is like the armor that the soldiers were wearing. that I want. Burlap sack, anything good in it? No. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we want up here. I mean, yes, it makes sense that a house of healing would have a morgue. Oh, there's a button here. Interesting. Huh. Secret room. Kind of like that. Let's walk in here. I'm sure there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, this crate has something in it. A hat. Some clothes. Some rags. Breezy sandals. Nothing in the pouch. Oh, just just some stuff here. I mean, I could just go ahead and send all this back to camp and deal with it later. Got a backpack here with nothing in it. Stacked towels, a bedroll. Oh, did not want to pick that up. Do not need a bedroll, I don't think. Another crate over here. With some sandals in it. Apple, cup, cup. Charred corpse. Nothing on the charred corpse. Towels. Wooden crate. Nothing. A wooden chest. Inside, a strange tendril amulet. It has Everd's black tentacles. Eldritch sigils seem to course through the metalwork on this amulet. Tentacles sprout from the ground, turning the area into difficult terrain, attacking and smothering creatures within. It's kind of neat. What the... Okay. Thank you. Pile of sacks over here. Another charred corpse. Oh, he's got a ring on him. Furzu's Ring of Trading. Deception plus one. Belonged to Trader Furzu. Increases deception checks by one. <laughs> Man. We don't need that. We're already very deceptive. We put that on. We'll be... Super deceptive. So some rags. Don't need to pick all this stuff up. Well, that's what was in the secret room. Always fun to find a secret room, right? Don't think there's anything over here we're interested in. Uh, a bunch of burlap sacks. Oh, what was that? I heard something to my right. Something scary. 
backpack up here. I think I just heard the cat purring. A notice. That would have been easy to miss. A reminder, sisters, do not forget that patients passing through these hallowed halls must needs be stripped of such frivolous items as jewelry, timepieces, and extraneous gold amounts. These burdens can be safely stored in the vault behind the hidden wall, that they do not confuse matters between ourselves and Catherick's justiciars. We'd like to avoid misunderstandings if possible. Okay. Well, that was a hint that there was a hidden wall, but uh, we didn't need the notice to tell us that. We found it anyway. And then now we've got these big old double doors here. And like I said, I thought I heard something make a sound over here. So I don't think we're going to be alone. I'm going to head F5 here just to be safe. Can't loot any of these bodies. And then in this scary room... And we're not seeing anything. Uh-huh. A zombie lying on the ground there. It's not showing up. As an enemy. When I press this button. So, probably going to have to fight some zombies. It's asleep. Check him out. He's pretty strong. Resistant to poison, or immune to poison. Now yeah, we'll see when he decides to stand up. Oh, here's another zombie right here. He's asleep. I mean, do I want to go ahead and just fight the zombie? Rather than walk in here and have them all stand up and attack me? Let's see what happens. Oh, they all stood up. That's fine. Oh, there's poison down there. Uh, I guess I'm a little too close to the poison cloud. Poison? What the heck? Well, it's a damn good thing we didn't walk down in there, huh? Um, I don't think this is going to count as a... Yeah, we don't have advantage, so... We could just go ahead and do a regular attack on this guy. Yeah, do that. Eight points of damage. Nicely done. And, um... Definitely do not want to be in the poison. Fox looks like he might be in the poison. But these guys here look okay. What should I do? Alright, Shadowheart. Let's just have you kind of step over here a little bit. See if we can't finish one of these guys off. Just go ahead and... Do I want to do this? This this does 4 to 11 damage, where I could hit him with some Radiant. Do 2 to 16. Try that. <laughs> okay, so he's dead. There's quite, quite a few more of them up here than I thought. Let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and cast Spiritual Weapon. What do you think is a good thing to use on zombies? Maybe, um... Do a trident. That sounds fun. So, this thing doesn't have to worry about poison. So, we'll just go ahead and, um... End her turn. Another fight. Let's go. And now it's... Fox's turn. I said, I'm not sure if it... I think, that, I think we're in the poison, so I'm going to just back up just a little bit. And then, yeah, that's the end of Fox's turn. He can't do anything else. The dog. Well, poison hurt the dog. Yeah, well, the, the turn's red there, so that makes me think that indeed the poison will hurt the dog. So we'll just have the dog stay here. If, um, if they decide to come this way, the dog will be ready. Same with the cat. Just move the cat move up a little bit. Uh, let's do this. Let's do a meow. We'll see if we can't draw the creatures over here. Get them out of the poison. 
that's quite a meow there you got there, kitty cat. Okay, he's he is gonna walk this way. He tried to attack the spiritual weapon, which is kinda cool. He's gonna dash over here. Into the poison. It is now Gale's turn. Or no, it's the spiritual weapon's turn. Well, spiritual weapon's right here. So, um, wow, this guy has high defense. Ooh, he's a greater zombie. Holy cow, he has a, he has 74 health. Holy moly. He is uh, resistant to necrotic and cold, immune to poison. Turn resist. Oh, he's resistant to being turned. Interesting. Now let's go ahead and take a swing at this guy. I mean, it's really all we got. I could try a piercing strike. Or I could do a trident thrust. This one here could possibly inflict gaping wounds. Let's try it. He's immune to gaping wounds, but we did uh, a fair amount of damage to him. Not bad. Rough tempest I will raise. Okay, we got Gale here. Um, Gale could do... Let's see here. He's got some, quite a few cantrips here. So we, we looked at this guy a moment ago. He is resistant to necrotic and cold and immune to poison. So we could do, well, something... I didn't see anything about fire. Let's do it. Eat this. Sounds like he says eat this, but I think he says Ignis. Okay. Um... But all we can do, we're just gonna stand here at the doorway and let him come at us. Come at me, bro. The poison is not gonna bother these guys at all. They could just hang out down there. Oh, these two zombies dash at the same time. Interesting. That's a little time saving. Uh, so now we've got a starry on here. So these guys are kind of grouped up. It makes me wonder if there's like anything I can do to them as a group. I don't think there is, unless I throw something at them. Um, this darkness thing, I didn't like it the last time I used it at all. But they're not going to be doing ranged attacks anyway, so they're just going to come running at us anyway. Uh, we could put creatures to sleep, but only up to 24 hit points, so that's... I mean, I could maybe put this zombie asleep. Ooh, we got, oh my gosh, we got two greater zombies, holy cow. Can I put him to sleep? Can't target undead. Kind of figured that was the case. Um, part of me is wondering if maybe we have him throw like a bomb in here, like from from my inventory. I could look here. I mean, do I have? I have flammable. I have smoke powder bomb. Smoke powder bomb. Tw Twelve to twenty-one damage. Huh. Um. If I send this to Astarion, does that count as an action? I want. I feel like if Astarion could throw this, it would be an option right now. But why is this not an option? Yeah, I don't know if this counts as an action or not. Well, let's see. Throw. Yeah, throw that. Just throw that right here in the in the middle of them. Right, we'll just throw it right here on the ground and see what happens. Nice. <laughs> wow, that did a quite a bit of damage to these guys. He's down to twenty. He's down to one, and he's down to forty. That was really good. Bring it, move on my part. Really, I really wish it would have killed him, but that's okay. My, the rest of my team will finish him off. Um, heck, let's do that again. That was great. I could do this. Take this, this cliff of warding. Uh, fire. Let's do it. Huh. He's got five left. He's got 22 left. It must not have hit him. But uh, not bad. Not bad. No choice but to keep going. 
Next up is Fox. Fox, what are you going to do? You want to do it too? Why don't you do a Glyph of Warning as well? Nice. He's got one health left, doggone it. He's got seven health left. Well. Um. Do it. Go in there, dog. Finish him off. I just don't want him to have an attack. Nice. Good job. Good boy. He saved versus the poison cloud. We're going to have him come back. So he's not in the poison cloud. Good job. And then the cat. I don't think the cat can reach him. No, can't reach him. So let's just get their attention again. I don't know. I mean, they're going to come this way anyway, right? But right in the dog's face. In your face, dog. Another greater zombie. Holy moly. Oh, here he comes. So we got this greater zombie with 74 health. We got this one back here with 7. And the regular zombie back here. Uh, I'd like to try to finish this guy off so he doesn't get a chance to attack. I could try Melf's Acid Arrow. Let's do it. He's dead. Finish him off. Wait. Okay, or not. What the heck? Zombie was hit for 12 damage. Well, I don't remember how much he had before. But he still has one health left. Well, that sucks. Alright. Oh, that's too bad. Now it's his turn. This guy... He, he just growls. Oh, oh, oh. Now he's dead. Okay, weird. I'm not sure what that was. Okay. So, we are here against a zombie and a greater zombie. Whew, boy. There's the only two left. We should be able to take them on, but I don't like them right here in my face, I'll tell you that. Um, could we finish him off with Magic Missile? Let's try it. He's still got seven health left, Doc, on it. It's too bad. I could do a Vampire Bite, but... Eh. I could run over with this and do two to five damage, but it wouldn't be enough to kill him, so... It's okay, my whole team gets, has their turn. And I don't think I'm going to be able to reach him anyway. Yeah, I'd have to run into the poison. I don't want to do that. The plan is for you to finish this guy off, if you don't mind. Can she reach him? I don't know. Yeah. Doggone it, didn't kill him. Shoot. All right. Is our spiritual weapon still out there? Huh, I didn't notice that it had gone away. Well, let's cast it again. Um, I don't know, the trident seemed to do a pretty good job. Okay. I won't give in. Uh, why don't you finish this guy off, Fox? If you can. He's got. Try not to hit the spiritual weapon. Two health left. Can you finish him off? Just you know, just do a regular old attack. He's dead. Nice. Okay. Finish him off. Really don't like Fox being up front here. But if I run away, there'll be an opportunity attack. So I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. The dog's turn. Can you get to him, doggy? Go ahead and take a bite out of him. And he missed. That's okay. The cat. Can you get to him? Missed. Okay. Come by back here. Get out of the poison cloud. Oh, opportunity attack. Well, shit. Huh? Alright, didn't hit the cat. Poisoned. Oh no, she's poisoned. Slam. So we got this guy here, this greater zombie. Again, he is resistant to necrotic and cold, immune to poison. So fire, I think, is a good thing to use against him. Let's just do fire bolts on him. 12 points of damage. Not as much as I would like, but that's okay. 
I wonder how long this poison's gonna stay here, if it'll ever blow away so we can walk down in there. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Starion's turn. Oh, well, he could also fire fire any. Sure, why not? Go ahead. 16 points of damage is pretty good, actually. Down to 46. I don't want him to run the poison. Got to keep fighting. Got to keep fighting. He's resistant to being turned. So we'll just do a sacred, sacred flame. Seven points of damage with a radiating orb. Which I don't remember what the radiating orb does. Affected entity has minus one to attack rolls for each remaining turn. And then it also sheds a bright light in the area. Okay. All right. Survival is all that matters. Okay, this guy's right in Fox's face. What if we did um, this and just blew him away? This looks like it's going to also blow the cat and the the dog with. Yeah. Uh, like it's also going to blow the spiritual weapon away, but that's okay. So if I do this, it's not going to blow him very far away, but let's see what happens. 11 points of damage and got him out of our face. He's down there in the poison with 28 health left. Okay, dog. Well, go on in there and let's see if you can save versus poison again. Oh, he's poisoned. He's poisoned, and I can't run away now because of opportunity attack. I'm sorry, dog. You do the same thing, cat. <laughs> Missed. Oh, well. But the good thing is that maybe he'll attack them instead of my peeps next time. Spiritual weapon. Can you get to it, spiritual weapon? And he missed. Okay. Well, a little bit of bad luck there. Now it's going to be the zombie's turn. Oh, okay. Opportunity attack. Opportunity attack. Nice, nice. Slam. Let's do our lucky reroll here. Oh, ouch. That hurt a lot. Holy cow, that took a lot of Fox's health. Holy moly. Not sure how he attacked through that pillar. Okay, can you see him, Gale? Can you see him enough to do something to him? Like throw some fire at him? I believe you do. Checkmate. Seven. Doggone it. I was hoping for more than that. He's got seven health left. Starion, why don't you throw some fire at him, too? <laughs> Missed. Great. Okay. Can't give, up. Can't give up. Come on, let's finish this guy off. Nice. Good job, team. Looks like the dog and the cat even survived. Come on, dog. Get out of the poison, will you? Come here. There we go, everybody's out of the poison now. Wow, that really, really hurt Fox a lot, man. <laughs> Holy cow. Never a dull moment. Wow. Was that one hit that did all that damage? Let's see here. Where is when Fox got hit? Uh Fox was hit for 14 bludgeoning and 9 necrotic. Wow. That was painful. So how do I how do I get down here? in this poison um, sometimes there's like a vent that um, you can cover up to stop the poison um, but I'm not seeing it anywhere I'm not seeing one so boy that's a lot of poison I'm not sure how we're going to get down in there I think I might have something that will let me Walk in poison. We have an elixir of poison resistance. You gain resistance to poison damage and can no longer be poisoned. This elixir can be thrown at a target to apply its effects until long rest. <laughs> Popular among politicians and adventurers alike. So, what I could do is have Fox drink this or somebody on my team drink this and then they could walk around down there freely just to explore the place. Just to see what's down here. 
but wow, it, maybe maybe then we'll find the source of the uh, poison and we can turn it off. Um, but we'll do that next time. It's time for me to end this episode. Uh, I can't find another huge place to explore in this game. This game is cracking me up. I am loving it. I hope you're having fun watching me play it. If you are, won't you let me know? You can do that by leaving me a like or a comment. Thank you so much to those of you who take the time to do that. It's always nice to see that. It's nice to know that there are some people out there watching this. And honestly, if nobody was watching it, I'd play it anyway. This is an awesome game. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you join me again in the next one.